Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I am back with another lot using the new for rent expansion pack where I'm greeting two trailers on the same lot in Oasis Springs. And uh, I'm really excited to show you how these came out. If you do like these and you would like to download them for yourself, they are available right now on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find them under my EAID, which is Griffey. That's G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find that under the hashtag Griffey and that information will also be in the description down below as well. Ever since this pack came out, I really wanted to do a lot that had multiple trailers or multiple tiny homes on one lot. And I have started and not completed quite a few lots with that concept. I think I was just being a little too ambitious and trying to create too many buildings. So today we are making it a little bit smaller and just having two. And I'm glad I did this because I think it came out really cute. We're starting with the first one here. And basically, I'm just going to get the exterior shape of the first building before I start working on the second one. And then I play around with the colors and textures on the exterior for quite a while but I'm gonna actually move around the building so they're not gonna be placed down where I start with them placed, if that makes sense. But here I am starting to play around with the colors for the first unit and I tried so many different things and I just really wasn't sure what I wanted to go with here. Although I do like the look that I have now with the beige sides with the black windows. I think this is something I'm probably going to use in the future on a build. I just think it looks really nice. I like the contrast of it, but it's not what I ended up using on this one. Although one of the two homes on this lot does end up having a very like modern color scheme like that on the interior, but not this one. This one is going to go through quite a few color changes. It's red at one point. It's blue. It's green. I think we end on orange though. And I had a blast decorating the inside of it. I can't wait to show you that a little bit later on. But at this point, we are starting to work on the shape of the second unit, which is definitely more modern in style compared to the first one, which I went with more of a like traditional looking little house or trailer. And this one is lots of like clean lines and simple windows. And I like did some blocking out with the paneling. Also, I realized I accidentally moved to the roof instead of copying it over to the other unit. So I had to replace that on the first one. But yeah, these are starting to come together. I tried a couple of different window options on this one. I'm pretty sure at the end I ended up using the ones from high school years that your sims can open and escape through, but they're not on the area where a flooring is on the outside, so your sims aren't actually going to be able to use them for that, but I didn't think this sim would probably be trying to escape anyway. I could have also used the ones from Realm of Magic. They have a really nice plain swatch, but ultimately I used the high school years once in the end, and I thought it looked quite nice. I really like the colors on this one. This really deep wood tone I thought was beautiful and this is where I'm going to be changing where the entry is because I thought the windows looked nicer to be on that portion. And uh, yeah, th this house is not going to stay where it is now. It's actually going to be where the other one is and I'm going to rotate the other one to be in a different orientation on the lot. And uh, I, think, I think it works a little bit better that way. Uh, but right now I'm just playing around with some colors. You can see me being like, oh, maybe this wood tone. I was trying to combine a couple of different ones. And now the whole thing is green and the windows have a red interior. And I thought this was kind of fun. And then I was like, maybe matching all the reds together. And I do like this. I feel like this is something I want to experiment with in the future. Maybe not with this particular wallpaper, but a different red one with these red windows. Because I almost never use the windows that have some sort of color on them. I just think they're a little bit hard to use. And uh, it's because that color is on the inside of the windows as well. But I thought it looked really cool here, so maybe I will do that sometime soon. I'm really itching to build some like larger family homes and things like that. Uh, since we got for rent, I've been primarily building like multifamily units and uh, small homes of sorts, apartments. We have that apartment series that I've been doing where I'm decorating those small luxury apartments in Windenburg. So I have a couple more of those left, but I would like to do some bigger builds. Uh, in the new year since we're only like one day out from the new year now. So uh, probably not going to be this year, but I'm very, I'm very excited about that. It's going to be nice to get back to some of the bigger builds. So if you have any suggestions of things you would like to see, do let me know. Of course, if you also have ideas that are utilizing for rent, that's totally fine as well, because I feel like there's just so many ideas that are going to keep happening because it just really opened so many possibilities in the game of what sort of homes and lots we can create. And uh, it's just going to be fun to continue to experiment with that. 
Uh, but here I am working on the landscaping. I grabbed a couple of plans that I'm starting to lay out where I want the pathways to be uh, kind of roughly with a bunch of different terrain paints. This changes quite a bit and I do end up like erasing some of it and redoing some of it and I left in a good chunk of that process so you could see uh, how it came together because I know sometimes it's nice to see that process. I feel like terrain paint is kind of a struggle but it's really fun in my opinion. I, I quite like it. I also wanted to add some greenery on this lot. I just think it makes things look less dead <laughs> and since we're in the desert I thought it would be nice. So I basically end up having this little shared side yard that they have uh, where there is grass. It's not really bright grass. It looks kind of dead and I thought that, that made the most sense but it still added a little bit of color to the exterior and then I'm erasing the pathways I did because I didn't like how they came out and I decided to use this terrain paint instead with the rocks. I thought that this looked a lot nicer and uh, we'll just be adding some more paints on top of that sort of layering to make it look a little bit more realistic in a little while but uh, first, I'm getting some of these debug fences to sort of frame out the side of the lot. I just felt like I needed something over here and I didn't want there to be a tree to block the buildings. So I thought having some fences and some shrubs and stuff would probably be the best way to do that. So that's what I ended up doing. I should be grabbing some of these. Yeah, this one in particular, this shrub from debug. I think it looks quite nice here. It's not a super bright green color, so I thought it worked well for the desert environment. Obviously, having a bunch of greenery is not the most realistic, but I thought if I was going to have it, I was going to have more muted greens, if that makes sense. So at this point, I am starting to play around with the colors of this build again and getting to the orange color that I'm going to keep. I think it is so pretty and so bright and it really inspired the interior of this. So I was thinking that the inside of the orange home was a little bit more dated, like the tiles and appliances and stuff were all from quite some time ago. And the people that moved in here kind of tried to embrace that. So some of the decorations also end up being uh, in that same realm of things. And it ends up being a really bright, colorful, fun space. And I, I just really like it. It ends up being a two bedroom, uh, two bedroom trailer for a kid and a parent or two. And that's why I put the bunky bars out in the back. And it's just a really fun one. Uh, it's my favorite of the two. The other one's more my style, I guess. Uh, something that I've done a lot of on the channel where the inside is very like black, white, and brown and very modern and doesn't have a lot of decorations. That one's more like the move-in ready, decorate it however you want, but it has everything you need. <laughs> and I did decorate, like have furniture in there as well, but it's all very simple, whereas the orange one has a lot more personality and is for like a s specific family, if that makes sense. I, I think it's nice to have both of those type of things, especially because that would be good for storytelling, having very different families living on this lot or very different sims. So that's what I was going for. Uh, but here I'm trying to figure out the floor plan. I end up having the bathroom over on the left side of the build when you first walk in that first room off to the side is the bathroom and then I end up having two bedrooms in here. I am going to extend the size of this build a little bit so I can make this bedroom bigger uh, for the kids so it wasn't just the same size as the bathroom but you can see the tile I'm placing in now really shows you what sort of thing I was going for for the age of this apartment or of this unit. I, I keep wanting to call them apartments because of for rent but this is like a trailer or a tiny home. This one's a little bit on the bigger side. I'm not sure if it actually fits within the tiny house residential tile limit, but since this is a rental, residential rental anyway, you can't have those. I know the other one would qualify. It's very small, but this one's still on the smaller side. It's a very small home and uh, I think it came out really cute. I'm just figuring out all of the wallpapers here. We have the tiniest kitchen. I didn't add the sink in yet, but I will. No, don't worry about that. It will be added. I just didn't add it yet for some reason. I also ended up getting a half wall over on the other side of the fridge. I just thought it looked a little bit nicer that way uh, to have it feel like it's more, I don't know, enclosed, even though it's an open kitchen. It felt better that way. So that's what I'm doing now. I also really liked the archway leading into the hallway space and how it bumps out a little bit. So it kind of feels like the kitchen is once again enclosed on the other side where the counter is up against a wall and this is where I'm grabbing the matching sink. The, that whole counter set is from Cottage Living. I think it's really pretty. Uh, so yeah, the decorations in this home are going to be a mixture of stuff that kind of fits with the time period of 
what you would expect with the tiles and the fridge and the stove and all of that. Uh, but there's also a lot of more modern things in here. It's just a very fun, colorful space. And you'll see that come together in a little bit. I know right now it just looks very brown, but I think you can get, start to get the idea with the couch I just placed down. We have this curvy couch that is like this pinky red color, some fun pillows and plants. I also end up getting a really bright orange rug. Uh, this one right here from Strangerville. It is so pretty and I know it doesn't quite match the couch, but I kind of loved that. I was loving all of the different colors in here and I just think it looks so lived in and cheerful. And so it, it was just a bit of fun. And I think I want to do some more builds that are a little bit more dated time period wise because I just think it's so uh, satisfying, I guess, to try and create something from a different time period. And this gave me a little bit of a touch of that. Obviously, it wasn't meant to be like not current day. It's just kind of inspired by that. And like the people that lived here embraced that a little bit in their home and are decorating accordingly. So Anyway, uh, in the entryway, I was able to fit a table with three chairs and I do end up getting a bunch of clutter up here as well as a computer. So this kind of works as a computer desk as well. And I uh, end up putting, I believe, do I put the cork board up there? The parenting board is there and the cork board. I really wanted to have a lot of like kid friendly activities here because I was imagining there was a kid living in this house. So there is the toy box in the living room. We have a bunch of like arts and crafts around and the parenting board, of course. I didn't put too much in the kitchen because only that corner counter is going to be accessible for your Sims to prep food on. So I didn't want to add clutter in there and make it so your Sims couldn't, you know, work in there and make food. So anyway, we're in the bathroom now. I only have a standing shower in here, no shower tub combo, but I was imagining the kid in this space was a child. So uh, you're not going to need to bathe them in the tub anyway. And I actually really like how I decorated this space. I feel like I fall into uh, always using the same items in bathrooms. And while I used some of the same items that I always use, like this toothbrush holder, I really liked putting that basket on the back of the toilet that is from the book nook kit. I just thought it was really cute, like reading material while you're in the bathroom. And uh, I also got a couple of bath mats in here and using this toilet with the wooden seat, I thought was nice. It felt like it matched everything quite well. And um it was just fun to try and decorate stuff that looked a little bit more dated. And I think like the built-in fixtures made the most sense to do that with. But yeah, just working on the hallway now. I, I'm pretty sure I just put a mirror in here and a rug. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that hallway. And then I'm starting to try and figure out what beds I want to have in the bedrooms. And then I kind of decorate them accordingly. I at first was thinking about using this bed from Horse Ranch. I don't think I used that in the end though. I play around a couple of different times trying to figure out a color scheme and I'm doing the same thing with throwing rugs around into the kids room. I just really wasn't sure what I wanted this space to look like. We get there in the end but it does take a while. The kids bedroom ends up being space themed using the bed from uh, Growing Together and the rug from Base Game. I just think it's really cute and uh, I, I liked it and I, I think it's fine for kids rooms to not entirely match with the rest of the house but I don't think it clashes really. It's just like a fun kids room uh, but yeah I'm just painting the walls and then I realized, oh, the wood paneling would be great in here. So I decided to place that down, bring in these brown curtains that I have throughout the rest of the home. Those are from the Modern Lux kit. And then I'm just playing around with trying to figure out how to make this room work. I really liked the rug, but the bed was just not working. So we should be getting rid of the bed. Yeah. And I ended up going with this one from the Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack. And I think it worked so much better because it had the right colors and the right vibe but it didn't feel as dated because I wanted it to be a mixture of furniture styles. Not everything was like a certain time period specific thing. I just wanted it to feel cozy and colorful. And I think I achieved that with this room. You can let me know what you think of this. Uh, and then this is going to be the dresser I used, which is from the For Rent expansion pack. I think it is so pretty. It's like a beautiful sideboard that you could use as a side table anywhere, or it could be for a dresser. So it's nice that it actually functions that way and I'm just getting some clutter up there. I really liked using this lamp from the basement treasures kit. I think it worked really nicely on the bedside table and up here on the dresser and then I just got some more clutter. I believe I also ended up getting the chessboard up here. It just looked nice and that's something I don't use outside of living rooms very often but it's a really cool piece of clutter and I, I quite liked it in this space. Uh, so that should be pretty much it for this room. I just got, I think, some decorations on the bedside tables and maybe something on the wall as well. Yeah, I got a couple of things there. And then we're moving on into the kids' bedroom. 
using the same curtains but this time in this navy color and I just think it looks so good all of the blue on blue and the bed that matches the rug it's just super cute so uh, I was quite happy with that I got this dresser from dream home decorator it's in the same wood tone and then we just get this little mirror here once again trying to match everything together so I have blue on blue getting some like alien posters to go with the space theme and I ended up getting like a couple of toys in here, but mostly just like other decorations, like realistic bedroom clutter, like a place for your brush and your hair dryer, some storage and just like boxes of stuff. Uh, I do have the toy box out in the living room and I do get a couple of toy things in here. We end up having a dollhouse, the one from the, oh goodness, what is the name of that pack or that kit? It's the like camping one, little campers kit. There's a dollhouse from that that looks like it's very makeshift and has a spaceship on top. So I thought that that was perfect in here. So they kind of made their own dollhouse. We also have some books in here for their schoolwork. And I get a stuffed animal as well. And I believe a couple more posters. And that should be it for the kids room. I think it came out really cute. It feels realistic to me. So let me know what you think of that one. Uh, I think it's a really fun one. I love doing space themes in the sims in kids bedrooms it's just one of the ones that looks so nice in my opinion and there's a few different ones that we have a lot of decorations for and that is one of them but anyway we've moved into the second unit now and you can already kind of get the idea of the vibe of this home it's very brown black modern simple sleek it's for one sim it ends up being a one bedroom home and it doesn't have too many decorations but i think that's okay it's definitely an aesthetic choice some people choose I personally like more clutter in my real home and in my Sims game, but I think it's nice to have some things that are a little bit more simple and it's so drastically different from the other the other unit on this lot, which is what I wanted to do. So that's why I decided to do this. But uh, you could go ahead and customize either of these however you'd like if you download them. I, I don't mind. Please do whatever you'd like with them. Uh, I'd love to see what you do if you would ever like to tag me on Twitter or anywhere else. I am Griffey on Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch. And I'm still Miss Griffey on TikTok and Instagram. So that's where you can find me outside of YouTube if you'd ever like to. Uh, especially in the new year, I'm going to be streaming some more over on Twitch. I'm really excited about it. I'm also opening up and expanding memberships here on YouTube sometime soon. I started working on uh, the different tiers and stuff like that. If you're interested in checking that out, I'm very excited about it. There's going to be like some behind the scenes stuff, probably some exclusive videos. It's going to be a good time. I have lots of ideas. So definitely keep an eye out on the channel for that. That's uh, some of the things I'm excited about for 2024. Uh, there's, it's, it, I have a feeling it's going to be a good year. I've had a really bad year the last two years in my personal life and just in general. I feel like 2022 and 2023 were not so great. Uh, let me know if you also feel that. I'm just excited for a new year, new start. I know you can have a new year or like or a new start. Things get better at any point in time, but there's just something so refreshing about a new year for some reason. I know it doesn't really mean anything, but I also still like the feeling of it. It always makes me feel really good. So uh, let me know if you have any New Year's resolutions or if you do that kind of thing or just anything that you're looking forward to this upcoming year. Uh, I'd love to hear about that in the comments. This is not the last video of the year unless you're in a different time zone where you're a day ahead of me. So maybe it is the last video of the new year for those of you in Australia. Uh, but otherwise, there should be one more video tomorrow, which is going to be another apartment in our Windenburg luxury unit series that I've been doing on the channel. And then we'll have one more for the new year. But uh, yeah, this is the living room space. It's all combined with the kitchen. We have a nice mirror over here by the front door. And this whole unit is pretty much done. I just got a couple of decorations over by the sink. We have some soap and a towel rack. And then we should be heading outside to finish up. I do get an outdoor trash can for these units because I realized I hadn't added that yet. And uh, a couple of planters and stuff out here as well and finishing up the landscaping, adding a bike for the kid. I think it looks so, so cute out here. I also hadn't added in the mailboxes yet. So I wanted to do that and add some more of these low lying plants around the property as well as a bush over on this corner. I like to like frame out my houses with really thin trees and bushes. I just think it looks nice. <laughs> so I just wanted to do that here at the end and get a little bit more of this terrain paint over under these chairs. 
So it looks more like they're on a patio space. So just doing that now. I'm really happy we got those chairs. Those are some really basic plastic chairs and they came with for rent and it's just nice to have some basics like that in the game. Uh, but with that, we are heading on into screenshots. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so very much for watching. Please enjoy those screenshots and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.